Hello and welcome. For today's yoga class, you'll need one yoga block and a yoga mat. And depending on the temperature of the room or if you're doing this outside, you might want to have a blanket. We'll begin with a chakra meditation to heal negative emotions and remove blockages. We'll begin with deep belly breathing. Don't have to worry too much if you're doing this correctly, but if you want to get more of a sensation, a feel, you may also elect to simply lay down on your mat for this exercise to start our yoga class today. Or if you're comfortable with deep belly breathing, you can choose to sit. Begin by breathing in through your nose. Notice how the belly fills first on the inhale and the chest follows. With even inhalation as you follow your breath and even exhalation with no gap or pause between. Bring your attention to the base of your spine, your first chakra. As you inhale, the air flows down to the base of your spine with no separation of breath. The air flows up and out your nose on the exhalation. Feel yourself being drawn downward to the earth with each exhale as you visualize the first chakra as a fiery red ball of glowing energy. Without changing your breath, pay attention to how you feel physically, emotionally, and mentally. Check in. Get in touch with your relationship with the earth and with nature. Now bring your attention to your breath. Notice the second chakra below your belly button. On the inhalation with no separation of breath, Exhale through your nose as you visualize a sense or energy of the second chakra as it grows orange. Let your consciousness move down into that ball of energy. Feel connected to your creativity, your sexuality, as the energy of the second chakra radiates outward from the center of the body to the outer environment. Bring your attention back to how you feel physically, emotionally, and mentally. Tap in. Pay attention to any changes you experience. Bring your attention back to your breath, breathing deeply and fully, evenly without any pause on the inhalation or exhalation. Now focus on your third chakra below your ribs in your solar plexus. Visualize a yellow ball of energy glowing brighter and brighter with each exhalation. Allow a feeling of contentment to radiate outward from the center of your being. As you begin to feel connection with others and compassion, notice how this makes you feel physically, emotionally, and mentally. Bring your attention now to your breath, breathing fully and deeply and evenly. And bring your attention to your fourth chakra. Inhale, breath down into your heart. Exhale out through your nose. Visualize an emerald green ball of light energy filling your heart on every exhale. Feel the energy radiate from the center of your body and beyond. Feel the transcendent love which radiates through the heart and into the rest of the seven chakras. Pay attention to how you feel physically, emotionally, and mentally. By surrendering to unconditional love to yourself as well as others, you may feel currents of warmth pulsating through your body. Now bring your attention back to your breath and to the area of the throat for the fifth chakra. 
Visualize a glimmering blue ball of energy or turquoise. There with each exhalation, it's getting clearer and clearer. You feel more noble and courageous. Feel your inner affirmation that says yes to life. You feel victory without diminishing anyone else. Bring your attention to your breath and to your sixth chakra. Exhale the air out past your third eye as you visualize an indigo ball of light glowing stronger with each exhalation. Feel the mind radiate with your consciousness and pay attention to how you feel physically, emotionally, and mentally. Continue breathing through your nose. Notice how the belly fills first on the inhale and the chest follows with even inhalation as you follow your breath and even exhalation with no gap or pause between. Resting here for a moment, observing if anything shifted for you emotionally, mentally, or physically. In whatever position you find yourself in with your gaze soft, bring your hands to heart center. Take a nice deep inhale here to chant to open up the practice. Inhale. Oh. And blink the eyes open and give yourself a nice little stretch in any way if you feel like you need to move. Now's a good time as we begin to prepare for our physical practice. Bring the block at the top of your mat and find your way into a child's pose. Child's pose is more than a rest stop. Child's pose requires you to surrender to gravity and a state of non-doing. As you begin your next inhalation, imagine you're drawing your breath in through your navel and feel the navel move slightly back to the spine. You may not get a full breath. Your ujjayi breath with the slight constriction in the epiglottis should create a soft audible noise from the back of your throat. As you sense a soft suction in the abdomen pulling the stem of the navel. As you continue inhaling, the fullness of your breath moves behind your heart, filling the back of the lungs and softening the spine. As the thoracic ribs expand slightly, feel the skin across the shoulder blades stretching. The energy of the frontal chest and ribs should be still. As you exhale, release the weight of your abdominal organs, soften the diaphragm and surrender the arms. As we move from Balasana to tabletop position, we initiate movement with breath, curling the toes, to press back to Adho Mukha, walking your dog until you come to stillness. Press evenly in your hands and feet. Isometrically, press your feet away from one another. Isometric movement means that we don't actually see the movement. By doing this, we're bringing awareness to the TFL, the Tantra Fascia Lata, that attaches to the IT band. If we were doing yoga in jeans, uh, that would be where your front jean pockets would sit. Inhale, draw your torso forward until the arms are perpendicular to the floor and the shoulders are directly over the wrist for plank pose. Press your outer arms inward and firm the bases of your index fingers into the floor. Firm your shoulder blades against your back and spread them away from the spine. Also spread your collarbones away from the sternum. 
Pike your body back to downward facing dog, activating the crown chakra, third eye, throat chakra, heart chakra, and solar plexus. On your next exhale, look forward, step, step, step to the top of your mat for Uttanasana forward fold, allowing yourself to simply drape over your quads. Let your head hang from the root of the neck, which is deep into the upper back between the shoulder blades. Root to rise up, inhale, reach up, look up, exhale, passing through the third eye and resting in Tadasana, mountain pose. Lift up your toes to feel the four corners of your feet. Now lower your toes. Inhale, reach up, rise up, exhale, swan dive down, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana. Lengthen the front body as you inhale, reach up, rise up, circling the arms overhead and resting in Tadasana. Inhale with breath, rise up. Exhale, swan dive down, Uttanasana, building up heat slowly, inhale, halfway lift, moving with breath, exhale, fold deeply, inhale, reverse swan dive up, hands come to touch, look up, exhale, passing through the third eye, clearing the energy, Tadasana, inhale, circling the arms up, reach up, exhale, swan dive down, Uttanasana, inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, plant the hands now, step back with the right foot, inhale, reach up, Anjaneyasana, low lunge, exhale, plant the hands, press back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Moving with breath, inhale, right foot forward, low lunge, Anjaneyasana, hands reach up, exhale. Plant the hands, look forward, step forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, reverse swan dive up, reach up. Exhale, passing through the third eye to Tadasana. Inhale, circling the sun, reach up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. This time, step back with the left foot. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, low lunge, hands reach up. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, downward facing dog. Enjoy the second half of the pose. Feel the flood of energy as you inhale. Step the left foot forward for Anjane Asana on the other side. Reach up, exhale, passing through. Plant the hands, step the feet together at the top of your mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach up. Exhale, passing through the third eye and resting in Tadasana. Inhale, circling the sun. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step the right leg back. Inhale. For Anjaneyasana, exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank pose. This time, option two, move into Chaturanga. Shift the weight slightly forward. Lower down, hovering halfway. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha, your first upward dog, spreading the collarbones. Exhale with a ha huh sound using your core muscles, downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, step the right foot forward, Anjaneyasana, arms float up, reach up, exhale, passing through the third eye. Rest the hands, step the feet together, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, forward fold, inhale, reverse swan dive up, reach up, exhale, passing through the third eye, and inhale, reach up, exhale, swan dive down into the quiet pool, inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, left foot steps back, drop the left knee down, inhale, reach the arms up, Anjaneyasana, exhale, 
plant the hands, step the feet together at the back of your mat for plank pose, and shift the weight slightly forward, lower down, hovering halfway. Isometrically scrub the hands forward. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha. Exhale now, downward facing dog, rolling over the toes. Your next exhale, left foot comes forward, drop the right knee down, inhale, Anjaneyasana, arms float up, exhale, plant the hands, look forward, step forward, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, drape your body over your body, inhale, circling the sun, clearing the energy field and drawing the energy back, to Dasana. With a joyous heart, as we continue to build heat, inhale, circling the sun, exhale, swan dive down into your ocean, inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, plant the hands this way, just walk to plank pose, lower down, chaturanga, hovering there, halfway, keep the shoulder blades onto the back, inhale, Urdhva Mukha, exhale, downward facing dog. Exhale and inhale here a few breaths before look forward, hop, step, float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, drape your body over your body, relax, inhale, reach up, rise up, exhale, hands come to touch, Passing through heart center, inhale, reach up, exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift, cycling one more time, plant the hands, hop, step, float. Chaturanga, building heat, inhale, Urdhva Mukha. As if you're opening up two jars from the outside to spread the collarbones and exhale with core strength, hop, sound, downward facing dog. Letting all residual energy just drop from your shoulders onto the yoga mat. Softening the jaw. Exhale the air out. Hop, step, float now. Building some challenge. Top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circling the sun. Exhale. Passing through the third eye. And mountain pose. Exhale. Swan dive down. Inhale. Halfway lift, exhale, plant the hands, hop, step, float, chaturanga, hovering halfway, inhale, urdhva mukha. Exhale with a ha sound, activating your core, downward facing dog. Initiating the movement with your breath, always allowing the jaw to soften, the face is relaxed. Finding your breath as we continue to build heat to warm up the body inhale the right leg reaches up to the sky three-legged dog exhale curl into your body give your knee a kiss inhale three-legged dog exhale right foot forward pivot the left foot down to a 45 degree angle really root down through your feet to rise up raise your arms Reach actively through the little finger sides of your hands towards the sky. Firm your scapulas against your back and draw them down towards the coccyx. Exhale, lower your hands behind you. Interlace your fingers. Align the right heel with the left heel as you puff up your chest. Exhale to rotate your torso to the right, squaring the front of your pelvis as much as possible to the front edge of your mat. As you exhale now, humble your warrior as your left hip point turns more forward. Press the head of the left femur bone back to ground the heel. Inhale now, reach up. Exhale, bow forward, plant the hands. Come onto the ball of your foot, same side. High lunge, inhale, reach the arms up, hands come to put a slight bend in that left leg to give your psoas a little more stretch before you activate the quadriceps to straighten the back leg. Hands come to heart center here. We're going to initiate the twist with the obliques without relying on the arm as a lever. You're going to twist towards the right bent leg. First lengthen the spine and then hover here as you bow slightly forward halfway. Twist, 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 twist as much as you can 
again before you lower down. Maintain this twist without relying on the left tricep onto the uh, outside of the right knee. Keep this hover here as you continue to feel length from the crown of your head to the back foot as you plant your hands now to release the twist. Framing the right foot, root down through the left hand, reach up with the right, hello beautiful sky for a gentle twist. Allow the hand to simply fall back onto your hip. As you move your right foot halfway down the mat, lower your hips to feel a stretch there. You can stay here or go into the full expression of Vashistasana, side plank pose. The arm swings up over your head, forward. Exhale, plant the hands, lower down. Chaturanga option always to skip the Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha, Svanasana. Inhale now, the left foot up to the sky, three-legged dog, knee to your nose, Give yourself a little kiss. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, curl onto the body. Left foot plants forward. Pivot your right foot to a 45 degree angle as your arms float up to the sky. Sink the hips a little deeper. Square them a little more to the front of the mat. As you breathe here, lower your hands now and change the clasp. Interlace your fingers, puff up the chest, proudly as you exhale to bow forward humble your warrior your shoulder comes closer and closer to the front bent leg as your arms fall overhead allowing gravity to help you surrender into this pose as your jaw softens and you feel deeply relaxed now undo the clasp and allow your hands to find the ground. Frame your left foot as you pivot onto your right ball of your foot for high lunge. As you root to rise, the hands float up. Passing now through heart center, prayer position. Really press the hands together. At first initially, sink more weight into the left foot as you bow forward hover here before initiating the twist with the obliques as the left hand scrubs away from the body the right hand scrubs towards the body again you're not using the outside of the left knee at all to come into this deep twist this is all coming from within your core now press the hands back down and Root down through the right hand as the left hand peels up and opens to the sky, opening the pectorals that you've just really worked. You can come into the full expression of Vashistasana or allow that foot to come halfway down the yoga mat. As the top arm spins so that the pinky side is down and the triceps continually come towards your ear to open up the shoulder blade, lower the hands back down to plank pose. Option always to skip the vinyasa. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, downward facing dog. Enjoy the flood of energy that you've created. Simply notice your breath. Do you have to lengthen your breath, soften your jaw, soften your attitude? Come deeper into the pose by flaring the sits bones, picking up the front toes to draw the heels down the mat. Lower your toes down, exhale all the air out, hop, step, float to the top of your mat, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, find the back of your heels, sink low, inhale to chair pose. Utkatasana, squeeze the knees, tilt the tailbone down, core is engaged, ribs move towards the front hip bone. The challenge as you bring your hands to heart center, as you keep your knees together, I want you to press the knees out to turn on the outer hips. A little movement with a lot of sensation. Do the same thing with the knees to turn on the inner thighs. Can we do both at the same time as we hold chair pose Utkatasana? 
to add a little challenge lift up onto your tippy toes as you begin to lower as slow as you can lower your booty to your heels reach for your block that is in front of you and place the block between your bent knees on the skinny side with the block now between your knees, an extra challenge, find your way down to the ground, to your back, with your knees bent up to the sky and the block between your knees. Squeeze the block as hard as you can, activating the adductors without recruiting any of your face muscles to uh, work through this practice. Maintain that squeeze of the adductors in the inner thighs as you bring your hands up overhead. Close the gap between the ribs and the hips as you begin to lengthen the body and rise the chest up, letting your shoulders come up off the ground. Again, the jaw should not be part of this exercise, so feel some peace and relaxation in your face as your hands simply graze the backs of your ears so you're not lifting up with your hands and you're breathing as you continue to hold this pose, activating the core, activating the adductor muscles inside the leg. Softness in your gaze, softness in your attitude as we begin to pulse here for five, Four, three, two, one, half of one, and zero. Hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Make sure you're breathing and Really notice what's happening in your physical body, your emotional body, and your physical body. As you inhale now, reach the legs up. Let the front part of the torso come up off of the yoga mat. The shoulders are off the yoga mat. The legs begin to fall only halfway down and hover. Inhale, moving with the breath, they rise back up. Exhale, halfway down and hover without losing the integrity of the shoulders off the mat inhale reach up the legs exhale hover the legs halfway now put a bend in your knees here remove the block hug your knees in rock your body side to side massaging your sacrum your lower back as we rock and roll and rock and roll all the way to the top of your mat. Cross your legs, plant your hands, hop your feet back, chaturanga, lowering down, hovering halfway, scrubbing the mat forward. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha, imagining opening up those jars to the outside, spreading the collarbones as you exhale, downward facing dog been here before push the tops of your thighs back and stretch your heels down roll the upper thighs inward slightly inhale for three-legged dog with your right leg high exhale step the right foot between your hands energize the left leg in this high lunge with your hands down before pivoting the left foot parallel to the yoga mat as you cartwheel your hands up and over for warrior two, sink down in the front leg as it approaches a 90 degree angle. Stretch the arms away from the space between the shoulder blades to parallel the floor. Turn your head forward and look over the fingers. Imagine now drawing the energy towards your heart with your hands at heart center as you straighten your leg. Pivot the right foot now to parallel the short end of your mat as you sink down deep into the left side for skandasana with the right leg extended, dorsiflex the foot. And if you wish to, press down deeply into the left foot to rise or use your hands on the ground for support. As you enter the dance between skandasana, moving back to warrior two with the right foot forward. 
Straighten your arms and legs, look up and pivot to the long edge of your mat. And cheerily rotate the pelvis as you bend forward for Prasarita Padottadasana. You can take your peace out fingers and wrap them around your big toe with a slight internal rotation, slightly pigeon toe your feet here. Flare the elbows out, engage the shoulder muscles, engage your quads, firm your legs. Let your head hang heavy towards the floor or placed on top of the floor, encouraging blood flow to the brain for the crown chakra to help calm the mind. Inhale, hands on your hip, rise up. Pivot the right foot forward, bend the right knee, warrior two, still on the right side. Flip your right palm up to the sky and revolve your warrior. Exhale, look for weight is on the right foot. Float the left foot off of the ground. Keep your left hand on your left hip. Find your block for Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Dorsiflex the left foot. Engage the glute med. You can even float your bottom hand off of the block completely to find some balance. Make this pose your own expression by stretching in all four directions. Softly plant the left foot back down for warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel the hands back down to the yoga mat. Pick up the right foot, hover your right knee to your nose as you lower the right leg. Chaturanga, inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale with ha. Core strength, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog, other side. Inhale, left leg rises, three legged dog. Exhale, left foot between your hands to left thumb pad. Look forward, pivot the right foot parallel to the short end of your mat as you cartwheel the hands up and over for warrior two. Firm your thighs and turn your left thigh outward so the center of your left kneecap is in line with the center of your left ankle. Inhale, straighten the legs, straighten the arms or hands to come to heart center here. As you exhale now, bend the right knee down fully, straighten the left leg, skandasana. Option here to stay low, to float and dance to the other side, warrior two on the left foot forward. We're using your hands to help you. Straighten your legs, now arms reach up, bring your hands to your hips, facing the long edge of your mat, and cheerily rotate the hips as you fold over for Prasarita Padottadasana. Place your hands back on your hips. Allow your shoulders and your elbows to draw backwards as you inhale with a flat back to rise up. Pivot the left foot forward for warrior two. Exhale, exalt your warrior. And inhale here. Place more weight, root down through the left foot as you float the right foot off. Find the block. Spread your wings for Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon Pose. If you attempted to balance on the other side, do so now. Gently lower the back foot down, Vira Bhadrasana to cartwheel the hands back to frame the foot. Hover the knee to your nose, give yourself a little kiss, lower down, Chaturanga, inhale, Urdhva Mukha, exhale with a ha sound, using your core to Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Been here before many times, it's always a chance to refine your pose, firm the outer arms and press the base of the index finger actively into the floor. Inhale now for three-legged dog with your 
right foot up to the sky, knee to your nose, right knee to right wrist for pigeon pose, kaputasana, with your right shin approaching diagonal, paralleling the short end of your mat, and your right heel pointing towards your left frontal hip bone. Now bring your attention to your back leg. It's not in Shavasana. Your left quadricep should be squarely facing the floor so that your leg is in a neutral position. You want to avoid the common pitfall of externally rotating the back leg. Now observe your right outer hip. If after you square your hips, the area where your thigh and your buttocks meet doesn't rest on the floor, you need to add a blanket or two underneath. And if this is still very uncomfortable, you can take supine pigeon or find your way onto your back with a figure four position and simply draw your shin towards your chest by clasping your hands behind your hamstring otherwise surrender to the earth in this restorative position and a deep deep opening of the hip on the right side and you have your blocks nearby so if you feel like resting your forehead on a block please do so the chakras associated with pigeon the throat chakra Vishuddha Chakra, Heart Chakra, Anahata Chakra, Sacral Chakra, Svadhisthana Chakra, or Root Chakra, Muladhara Chakra. As you're ready to come on out of it, inhale the right foot up to the sky, open the hip, and exhale back to Downward Facing Dog. Lower down one last time, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale to Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, the left leg up to the sky. Left knee to nose. Left knee to left wrist crease for Kaputasana or Ardha Kaputasana with the left leg forward, easing into it nice and gently attempting to square the hips to the front of the mat and once again once more if you need to pad any empty spaces with a blanket or two please do so now proud pigeon chest as you press the hands forward you can even use uh, well if you had two blocks you could use a block on each side and when you're ready surrendering folding relaxing deeper into this pose, allowing your forehead to rest on either your stacked wrists or a block. Inhale to rise up and ease out of this pose with your left leg now reaching high to the sky with a bent knee. Open your hip on the left side. Lower down Chaturanga one last time. Inhale Urva Mukha. Exhale Auto Mukha, Downward Facing Dog. From Downward Facing Dog, hop with your legs crossed to the top find a seat with your hands forward into boat pose navasana just briefly as you lower your feet down and your hands down behind you as you puff up your chest drawing the shoulder blades together and relax down onto the floor 
With your knees bent, your feet flat, hip width apart, heels directly below your knees. Leave your upper arms like robot arms. Press your elbows and shoulder heads down into the floor. Lift your chest and bring your shoulder blades onto your upper back, wrapping your outer arms towards the floor. Keep your gaze straight up. And remember, your chest is coming towards your chin and your chin is moving away from your chest. Now lower down as slow as you went into it. Bring your feet out as wide as your yoga mat and allow your knees to knock in together. Bring your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly and feel yourself breathe. As we sit up for bridge pose one last time, once again, press into your feet and slowly send your knees forward, wrapping your outer hips towards the sky. Then lift your buttocks away from the floor, lengthen your tailbone towards the back of your knees. Gently press the center of your back of your head into the floor. Broaden your collarbones and lift your chest, bringing your sternum towards your chin. Lightly reach your chin away from your chest, keeping space between the back of your neck and the floor. Lower down. Bring your feet out as wide as your yoga mat. Allow your knees to fall inward. Place your left hand on your heart. Tapping in with your emotions. Place your right hand on your belly. Tapping into your physical body. Taking time to check in with your mental state and noticing any thoughts that you may be thinking and think thinking thoughts and allow them to pass by. Allow your knees now to fall to the left. As you even reach the arms up or cactus the arms out to the side. As your knees are falling to the left to get more of a sensation, you can pick up the left outer edge of the foot and place it on top of the right knee to draw the knee down to the ground. Or I could let go of right or wrong. It would get deeper and deeper. And it was amazing. transition now to the other side take a moment to pause with your knees tapping in together and notice your breath and letting that go and when you're ready finding your blanket preparing for shavasana your final pose corpse pose drifted off to come back to the shape of your body.
from the stillness and silence, sense the breath moving slowly towards you. Bathe yourself in healing breath, letting it permeate every cell of your body. Observe your breath washing over your body and flowing away, washing over your body and flowing away. Imagine breathing in this peace and relaxation and extending it out to the people around you. Feel the earth support you as you move from corpse pose to fetal position. Resting here, absorbing Shanti, the peace of yoga. And when you're ready, we'll meet in Sukhasana easy pose, comfortable cross-legged position, where you will bring your prayer pose to rest with your fingers pointed towards your third eye, honoring the guru within as you move your prayer to your mouth and heart center. May the thoughts and the words we speak continue to come from that place of truth within us called love. Namaste. Mm-hmm.